Eight months ago, I spent $1. Unbeknownst to me, I was about to form a somewhat unusual habit <laughs> for mental clarity. This habit consisted of me buying a miniature notebook and a pen and carrying them literally everywhere with me. I mean, just look at this guy. I expected this to be a drag, but it actually ended up creating more mental clarity. Wait, what? Like, clearly I was missing something here. There's a misconception that I believed about mental clarity. It's this idea that if we can somehow get faster and faster, we will get ahead of our problems, accomplish our tasks, or achieve our goals. And only then will we be able to slow down, rest, and think more clearly. But what if mental clarity came from doing something entirely different? I believe that a large part of mental clarity comes from selectively slowing down in specific areas of our life. In other words, very carefully placing speed bumps. Have you ever been driving along and just had this obnoxious urge to drive like 15 miles per hour slower than normal? It only happened to me like once, but I did it and it was incredible how many things I started to notice. Like all of a sudden, all of these like blurred images going past me turned into actual like things. So what does this have to do with a notebook? Well, carrying a notebook with me gives me the ability at any time to slow myself down and to notice what is flying past me. And sometimes you realize that uh, you're driving on the wrong road or you missed your turn. And if you can learn to slow yourself down in these specific areas, you'll be blown away with the things that you'll start to notice. Let me show you some of the areas in my life I've chosen to slow myself down in. A problem defined is a problem half solved, meaning that <laughs> the worst possible use of your time is trying to solve the wrong thing which is exactly where I found myself at midnight avoiding one of my friends. My mind was going about like, I don't know, a million miles per hour and it was just saying all these dumb things like, you know, you're not good enough or they don't care about you or this isn't fair. And I was just getting absolutely destroyed in this boxing match <laughs> with my brain. So I slowed my thoughts down by writing them because the impulse is to try to solve these big like blaring problems that are up front, the big loud ones like, you know, this isn't fair and all the things that your brain is telling you, we miss that we need to dig down and find the root and deal with that problem, not just the surface things that are presenting themselves. And because I slowed myself down, I realized that the actual problem here was that I was questioning the intent of my friend and not trusting in the actual relationship. And so this is an example where a problem popped up and it's like, I'm really, really glad that I had that ability to slow myself down and to find a solution to this. Probably the main area that I use my notebook for and the reason why I carry it everywhere with me is creative brainstorming. There's just something about like creating something inside of your head and then turning it into a reality that is just so incredibly stimulating. For me, there are two aspects of creativity, idea generation and idea execution. Idea generation is where you brainstorm ideas. You basically just dump it out on the paper and you, it's kind of like a pre-roughed draft. And then idea execution is where you take those things and mold them and shape them into something that you can actually create and then you turn them into a reality. In the execution phase of this, technology is just unparalleled. Like you cannot escape the speed and efficiency that it offers. But wait, wouldn't you want that speed and efficiency during the brainstorming phase where you're, you're generating these ideas? Not always, because you see what can happen is you can end up jumping from one idea to the next before the previous one is fully formed. And then you end up with a graveyard of half finished ideas and projects. And this is usually because we did not encode the idea deep enough and therefore it did not stick and we couldn't build on it. Encoding is the first step in creating a memory. It involves your brain perceiving sensory information from the world and then transforming that or encoding that into stored information. And because the action of handwriting is a much deeper sensory experience, it amplifies this process and it lodges the idea deeper inside of your mind. And this is the beauty of using something so simple during the, uh, the, the brainstorming phase. Your notebook or your pen and paper has no agenda. Like it doesn't care what you think. Have you ever heard someone say, 
Let me process that. It's like, uh, what is that? <laughs> what is what is processing? <laughs> For me, I, I kind of landed on this conclusion that I think processing something is the action of intentionally asking better questions. Because if you repeatedly ask yourself better questions, you will get better answers. And I especially think this is really powerful when we're uh, you know, overthinking something, right? When there's just like a million thoughts all happening at once and it can be easy to just get swallowed in them. But I've found that if in the middle of all of that, if I write something down, if I write a question down and it's, the question just is just there staring back at me, it's almost requiring me to answer it. And it doesn't get lost and swallowed up nearly as fast and I can focus in on that. It gives me much more sense of control and it allows me to plant or place questions that will help me come to a better outcome. I don't know if you feel this or not, but uh, when I see all these empty pages, it can be a little bit daunting. Here's some things that I try to keep in the front of my mind when I'm just starting out with this process. First of all, give yourself permission to start. Allow yourself to just put anything inside of it and remembering that it's not a letter. Number two is be curious. After all, it's uh, just you and the page. <laughs> this process is, is amazing if you can get curious about where your mind will take you. The third thing that really helped me out is make it easy. Uh, keep it within reach all the time. Like that's why I carry it with me like, in my pocket every single day. It goes in my pocket before my phone does. Just like, yeah, start with one thought per day. Start with one idea. And the last thing that really helped me is make it satisfying. Uh, I'm a bit of a, a pen nerd. <laughs> For me, just having a really nice pen, like one that I loved writing with kind of helped because it's one of those like little small things that just made it a little bit more fun to use, a little bit more satisfying. And again, this is why I carry this very beaten up <laughs> pocket notebook everywhere with me, even though it's the 21st century, because like this gives me the ability to slow down like instantly if I want to. And in such a fast paced world, we need to find that balance between going fast and rushing and also slowing down in certain areas. 